Uh, chances are most folks would love to have an all-access pass to a concert or some other event that you're excited about. Well, scientists who are looking for data from experiments that happen in space are no different, and NASA has just a thing. Gene Lab is giving scientists that kind of access and the ability to share data on molecular biology experiments. My colleague Lori Meggs at the Marshall Space Flight Center recently got an all-access pass to a NASA supercomputer at the Ames Research Center in California, where this important research information is stored. What is Gene Lab? What is Gene Lab? Gene Lab is a platform for NASA to collect and distribute the valuable space station research data to the broader public. Why do we need something like that? I mean, I guess once you have the information that, that the scientists have garnered in space, other people want to use it too, right? Oh, they do. Of course they do. And they want to understand it uh, beyond just the complicated uh, ways that the data is described for the International Space Station science community. So there's a broader community, a community of biomedical researchers that really don't understand space station and the space station related experimental data. We would like to format that data and make it available to the broader public in a way that they would understand it and also define what the unique space conditions are so that data can be made useful. We're standing inside the 11th fastest computer in the world. It's a supercomputer. What happens here? Well, this is NASA's supercomputer, so we do NASA work here. We do aerospace, earth science, space science, and life science research on these computers around us. That's a lot of data, a lot of supercomputing. That's right. You can hear and feel it with the <laughs> air blowing around, all the data on the systems. So what do we use this for? Well, we use it for our science. Scientists log in from all over the United States accessing these systems to do their science that requires large-scale computing resources. So here is where the data is stored in the supercomputer, but how does that fit into Gene Lab? I'm glad you asked that, Lori. Um, one of our IT folks in Gene Lab uh, takes the proteomic and the uh, genomic data, they process it, and the processing takes place here. Um, this processing gets completed, and then it, it will be available for a Gene Lab portal. So a researcher has their data and it goes into these tapes, right? Correct. Um, researchers um, as well as uh, samples that are obtained from uh, spaceflight missions as well as ground samples are uh, processed in Gene Lab in this place and uh, then they're moved to a portal so that um, researchers in the scientific community will have access to it. And that's the point. So everyone has access to this data that comes from space. Eventually, yes.